coming up today. We've got a new tractor arriving, a new JCB that Andrew's bought coming, and we've got some sewing and we're doing some spraying. Just loading up some horse bedding before the dentist with Andrew. This is a chopped oil seed rape straw. What happens when we put it through the wood chipper? Ideal horse bedding. Quick update on my mouth after the grain hatch handle hit me. I've uh, just been back for a final check up with the dentist. Me too, still alive, so that's good. But be careful with them trailers. Back from the dentist, got me recipe. Just filled up the sprayer now. Does anyone know why Broadway Star doesn't come in exactly one kilo packs? It comes in like 1.03 kilo packs, which seems daft to me. Anyway, go spray some wheat now. Nice square field. Adam's just checking the drill over. He's going to go and do some grass seeding for someone overseeding into a paddock. So he should, um, it's only 10 acres. It'll take longer to get there than it will to do it. Might be the last time we use this drill. Oh no, we've got some flowers to drill. see the little grass seeds and the vetch are like a round black spherical ball shaped seed but quite difficult to see in case you're not putting much on to the hectare it's quite difficult but plenty of nice little worm activity going on there I'm gonna film this apart from that mist there and uh, something going on with that tram line. This is probably the best field of wheat I've got because it looks amazing. Something wrong with the GPS when it was drilled, but you can't even see, see the rows now, it's thickened out that well. Is that going? Yeah. Go on, keep going. Or it's going to split the wood. I'll record it when it flies out. It is going. Mm, not too bad, it is round. I should put a picture of the John Deere one on. Send me that and I'll put a picture of the John Deere on stream. That was Robin, he'd just come and borrowed our porter pack to straighten a wheel that was bent on a dumper. So he's just done that now. And a few years ago, I had an Astra hit the front of a John Deere tractor, totally buckled the rim. Anyway, Robin was the one that straightened that out because he was working for me that summer. A lot of kids here skiving school in the field while I'm spraying. Are they gonna move out of the way or are they gonna stay in the way? Despite being a reprobate, well actually no, they probably finished school now because it's about four o'clock, I thought they were skiving school. Anyway, they, um, they stood at the edge of the field, but I turned the end boom sections off as I went past because I don't like spraying too close to people. So we, I've missed a little bit, but when they've gone later, when I finish the field, I'll do that bit last. But they shouldn't be in the field anyway, and should, I don't even think they should be in them woods because I think they're private woods. Just spraying a field of wheat now. Looks absolutely stunning. It was oilseed rape last year. A little bit of a burr patch just there, there. But, but otherwise, it looks fantastic, and it really has grown in the last few weeks. I'm sure, especially this last week, despite it being cold overnight. Uh, this field's probably going to be houses next year. I don't own it. We just contract farm it. But uh, it's a nice crop to it. If it's its final field, its final yield, maybe. It's nice to go out on a high. Apparently the new tractor's arrived and I'm still spraying. Um, I don't know why I'm excited because I know exactly what it looks like and I've driven it because it was here on demo. <laughs> I guess you never grow up. 
last time I sprayed this field, there was a broken metal detector there. That's obviously, oh no, there it is. That's good. At least I'm not going to find it with a combine. Um, I'll put it back in these manholes. But with marks, because I don't want to hit them with a the combine. These are pretty good, actually, quite low. Um, this is this wheat, like I say, it's looking good. We've obviously sewn around the manholes. A um, little bit of tipping off the fertiliser. Paul, the agronomist, is at the other farm now and he's taking some tissue samples to send off. Put them in bags, post them off, and then they'll tell us whether the, the corn's lacking in anything that we need to give it to keep it growing and keep it healthy, keep it thick, and uh, keep it yielding. I recognise that fence and trailer. Can't see it behind the booms, can you? It's going to come out the other side now. Uh, there he is going around the bend there by the houses. Slimming on his way for chip. I've got out the sprayer because I've got a block nozzle. This is where we've patched up with some spring wheat. And if you look closely, it's coming up. So that's good. So this should be green next time I'm in this field, hopefully. It's where it floods because that's a ditch behind that bank. Just what had one of these broke. And they're always the ones behind the cab. So it takes you longer to notice. So hopefully I've not sprayed too much with, with a bit of a boom section not coming on. Um, anyway, carry them in the cab. The new ones now, they've changed them so they don't rot inside like that one has. A few pheasants there. Not been poached. Andrew's new JCB 403's arrived. I'll put Nick's bucket on the front for all that. <laughs> Size of that bucket. It's got a pin on it back as well. It even scoops wheat up. Just. Bouncy. Oh yeah, something else came as well on the wagon. The Gen 6. It's all shiny, all been cleaned. The other one looks old now, or dusty next to it. I'm seriously impressed with this for its size. I, I want one. If Andrew's going to move it up to the other yard near his house for doing his logs, I think we're going to have to get one for this yard because it's brilliant. Yeah, Andrew's got this, but he's got no attachments for it. But we've got this that makes it fit a Merlot for him. We used to have a front end loader. So we're gonna put this on the front now and then he'll be able to pick the Merlot attachments up properly. Yeah, Andrew's got this because he sold his Massey 3080. Uh, I've got this adapter plate we used to have on a front end loader for Merlot attachments, but it's got bits welded on to pack it out because the other Merlot attachments are worn. So we need to take these off so it fits better. And then he can put the smallest Merlot bucket on and hopefully use it for small stuff until his other bucket's adapted. Uh, but I'm seriously impressed with it. I think it's brilliant for the size of it. And um, nice little cab on it. I don't think it's aircon though. But it lifts about a ton on the front, I think. Little, uh, little engine in the back somewhere. I think it's going to be something like 25 horsepower Kubota engine. It'd be better if um, it did 30k though. I think it only does 20. But it's well handy. Got a bucket on it now, the little bucket for the Merlot, but it's a big bucket on that. He's gonna go and see what he can do, move his wood chip with it. He's happy as a sand boy. Look at his little face. in a bit. Because of the carriage it doesn't sit very well to be fair. The angle's a bit wrong because of the adapter plate. Blinding me with his light. 
side hill in here because you can't, uh, you can't get stuck. Got scratch on the wall, although you can get stuck in corners with them. It would be an articulated steer because it bends in the middle rather than four wheel steering. T and J, I'm just going to load them with rape with this. <laughs> I wish. Got the bail spike on now. No stopping him. Apart from he's hitched it on wrong. Got the oxen in the wrong place. To be this way. I decided I better load this wagon with the Merlot because the JCB is nowhere near big enough. Um, and it feels like a tank this now after driving out. It feels huge. He's got pallet forks on it now. No stopping him. Today's quest quiz question is, does anyone know what that is? It's a little thing sticking out the door. Of the little 403 JCB. I know we've only had a quick play on that, but I think it's one of them machines where if they dropped it off on demo with all the attachments to the front, left it with you for a week, then took it away, you'd be like, no, I can't do without it. It's so manoeuvrable and handy. Anyway, quiz questions from the other day, because I didn't do one yesterday, I forgot. But that is the top link holder. So you can see it on the new one. And obviously the top link on this one is, is down there. So but yeah, fits in there. And then also on the back, I've got the shiny one. Sorry, see, <laughs> that stops the PTO, and also if it's set up right in the tractor, you can hold it down for so many seconds to start the PTO. So they don't like doing that in different countries because it can be dangerous starting it, stood by it, but it definitely always stops it. So if anyone's in anyone in trouble, you can hit that button and it'll turn the PTO off. Uh, we'll have a close look at this tomorrow anyway because we've run out of time for today. And there's an outro from James Isles, I think, sent it me on Instagram.